All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho, episode 32. You mm. and Chu are mm-hmm. going at it. And you. Yeah, that's right. And the shirts are off. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the techniques have been spent. Indeed. Laughs have been had. Indeed. And now it, it's just time to continue beating the shit out of each other mm-hmm. until one of them drops. Right. right. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. That's, that's what we're here for. That's right. Uh, if, if anything, it would be nice to see them, like, have a, like, not drinking contest mm. kind of contest, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, something, you know, that Rock, paper, shonen, you know, mm-hmm. anime would be okay with. Yes. You know, Yusuke participating in but, it. Actually, now that I think about it, because they're down to their fists, that mm. means, that means Chu doesn't have to die, right? That's true. Because, you know, it could just be like, oh, you, you know, you walloped me something good there, <laughs> you know, little guy. Yeah. You won. Good job. You know, and then that can just be that. And then he looks over to the announcer's like, we still hope for that date, lass. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> sure. And she's just like, eh. And he's like. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Passes out. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Knife Edge Deathmatch. Okay. No! I don't want you to die! No! No, 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 no. It's just, no! It's just the spirit of this brawl. Wow! You just blew all your spirit wow. power there, didn't you, mate? Now you're as weak as any other human. Maybe, but so are you. That's probably true, Drongo. <laughs> <laughs> you're empty, so are you. Then we'll exactly. have to settle this fight like a couple of mally balls. I've got the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No! Let's do this with a knife edge uh, death match. Uh, a knife edge death match? Did he say knife edge death match? This Team death match! Ready. Right. Team death match. Team death match. He's probably trained with knives. You're not, Yusuke. Mm hmm. But if I had to guess, I'd say it involves a match to the death with those knives. <laughs> no, watch. It's going to be anything but what that. What on earth is happening right. now? Well, they're going to keep on going at it until it's all over. <gasps> they'll kill each other, Suzuru. What if they're doing the. Yeah. they shed enough of each other's blood yet? Haven't they? Look, Keiko, they're men. So they'll never be satisfied until they know which one wields a bigger knife. Mm. <gasps> oh yes! my god. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let me take this opportunity Thank to you. remind everyone that Thank no you. Is this is dub. That includes mm-hmm. swords, axes, small rodents. That's small what rodents. What are you planning to do with those two knives? Take off your shoes and put your foot in front of the knife. <gasps> oh. oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be the, oh, uh, the yeah 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 uh huh awesome I love it I really like this yes 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 now what is he making you skate to? oh leverage or maybe it's just that so that they can't move and they have to keep this posture and punch each other out maybe the but edge of that still. knife is the edge of your world that's the only rule of a knife edge death match you don't step outside that line if you do it's sudden death and i mean death and we fight with our bodies no weapons the winner is the last bloke standing do you think that you can all handle right. that all right no sweat excuse me sirs but it's really not up to you to make the rules around here we have a reputable tournament committee that gets paid to do that isn't it <laughs> Didn't they actually decide no! the rules before this team fight started? Hey, they can choose whatever they want. Though. Yeah, yeah. Now that the fight has been reduced to hand to hand, it will be the one with the strongest head that prevails. The strongest no head. Hmm, that's definitely Yusuke. Yep. You messy, show that less what you got left in you. Yeah. Come on, guys, make a decision already. Oh, hmm? Are the officials stepping in? Is your gang, have your esteemed colleagues arrived oh. at their destination yet, Tagoro? I have no idea, Mr. Sakio. Hmm. It's not like I have telepathy or something. Right. I've been in this room the whole time. Gotcha. So if rules are made outside the bounds of the initial rule the setting, yeah, the then they the have to. <laughs> all this serious build-up? 
makes me think it's just gonna be like, then they tell really bad puns to each other or something. Make the like, others and laugh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit, what is this? All right. They activated their latent innate powers, summoning the powers of the Storm God. How much fluids did you drink this morning? What if this is something else that's making these clouds come out, you know? Maybe. Like they're not natural. Oh, I love the lighting change though. Yeah. And one punch! Oh, gotcha, okay. Oh, gotcha. yes! Okay. Nice! Awesome. So it's the committee that was making them wait. Okay. Right, they're like, we need dramatic mood lighting. Exactly. We're ahead by one, so even if Yusuke loses this match, our team still has one more chance to win the round. We can send in Kurama, and he'll kick everyone's ass! Optimism, Ogre, it doesn't suit you. I would prefer not to entrust my entire team's fate in that fifth man's hands. There's just something about him physically that doesn't quite measure up. Wow, Koenma says that? You say that? Yeah. So the part in the actual first ED, oh yeah, which was trading blows, yeah. was this. Yeah. Dang. Dude, this actually would be good live action. Like, oh sure, like, yeah. This would work really well. Like this show, just in general, so far. Would work quite well. There's absolutely nobody beyond this point without a security pass. Whoa, whoa, okay. whoa. Who's this? Shit. Don't take another step. Oh my oh. god, okay. Oh, okay. Is this, is this where the inspiration for the oh, bomber came from? This is Toguro's um, esteemed colleagues. Mm. Please, Karasu. Yeah. You've got a long while until it's your time to fight. Karasu? I heard there was a fighter that might actually be worth my time. Name is basically kill or murder or crow. Reshi. That's him fighting down there now. So I've been watching. And what do you think? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to get into the tactics of like, you know, maybe like liver punches. Start being oh, 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 damn. Oh, oh. shit. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Yusuke, but you know. Never seen anything so impressive in my life. To them, it's like nothing else exists. Such focus, such, such pain, manly determination. Yeah. There's <laughs> no longer a fight between two guys. This is the stuff legends are made of. Hell yeah, so manly. I can watch them fight for hours. I can't watch them fight yeah. anymore. Yeah, exactly. If <laughs> goes on like this, he'll wind up dead. Not like he hasn't been there and done that. What was that? Wow. No, I need to be alone. Oh no, is she gonna run into Kato, one of the other I'm people sorry. on Taguro's team? No, they need to have a they need to have just a moment, you know. Wait. Wait, who's that? It's definitely not Taguro. It's a human. And I don't think it'd be his boss. Excuse me, miss. This is no he probably wouldn't leave the lady. room. He certainly wouldn't feel the need to hide. Oh. Oh, it oh, actually shit. was. Okay. Yeah. Where are you taking me? Well, okay. All right. This is curious. Let me guess. Human? Yes, but remember that down here we're in the minority, so be careful. Right. Okay. Oh, so that was it. That's it. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Okay. I'm curious what they're gonna yeah. do with that. Wait, wait. Whoa. Oh, oh she's here. Kuwabara, you have to make Yusuke stop fighting. No way. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> it's awesome. Stop him. Yusuke's gonna die again. Sorry, Keiko, but it's not an option. 
Why not? Because you and Messi made a promise. And now everything he lives for is hanging on his ability to fight. Yes. I'm not really supposed to talk about this stuff, but an honest-to-goodness rematch with Tagoro is the only reason we came here to fight. Oh, but, but why? It sounds like you don't even have a chance at beating him. Well, if we don't... Well, Keiko, let's just say we don't have a choice. Oh, and he but can't he doesn't... tell her! Yeah! He doesn't want her to worry! Mm-hmm. You see, Keiko, it's our only chance to settle this. Then and only then we'll know yeah. who's stronger than who. Mm. And that is why I owe it to you, Rameshi, not to step in there now and save his life! Really? And I'm very cleverly omitting the part about Get how this killed. is so awesome. <laughs> or, well, what Tagura will do if you're... Oh, done. yeah. Uh-huh. If you don't, yeah. <laughs> He's enjoying this. Yeah. This one's gonna be bloody rotten on my hangover. Trademark headbutt. Oh. Okay. Headbutt on headbutt. Yeah. Oh! And the lightning strikes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Hey. There we go. Oh. Good. He's gonna live. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Three. Uh, Hold on, Kuwabara! Yeah. I told you the one with the strongest head would try on the A. Seven! Oh, <laughs> I no. guess you're better suited for tapping Eight. kegs than tapping heads, mate. Nine! Ten! There it okay. is! All right. There it is! All right! Okay. That was a good fight. And now... <laughs> that was awful. But sir, our team won the match in the end. Whether we win or lose, I get tired just watching. Yeah. I, I took years off my life. Now. Yeah. <laughs> You're a messy. <gasps> yeah. We agreed to fight a death match, mate. Finish me off. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> now nah, we'll fight again when you're better. <laughs> you ripper. It's been a dead set on a Yurameshi. Like yeah. Well. All right. Oh, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And that's the promise of a future engagement. Yes. Whatever. Stop it. Yeah. Demon fans are so stupid. A while ago, they were cheering for them to win. Hey, if you want a piece of us, why don't you come down here and take it? Shut up! Whoa. Go off! If idiot's got something to say, say it! But say it to my face, or I'll say it to my fist! Dead silence. Watch, someone speaks up and he spirit guns them immediately. Like, <laughs> hell yeah! Alright. Okay, you're a meshy. Good yeah, one. yeah! You're a meshy's blood is worth bottling. Ah, ah, okay, ah, okay! I love it! Awesome! Is he worth your time? We'll be facing off against him soon. Soon. Only if he keeps on winning. Yeah. Tagoro. Come on, give him like a, give him like a. <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> I love it. Classic! Things are about to get very serious for his team with the Tagoro brothers. Luke no, 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 keep him, keep him in, the keep him in the flipped off pose. Yeah. Side. Ah. All right. Okay. Nice, nice. I love it. Yep. Oh. So true lives. Uh -huh. Yusuke wins, of, of, of course. Of right, course. right. He yeah, has to face Taguro. Uh -huh. But, but also, because uh, the team won, mm -hmm. we didn't see Genkai fight. Right. Which is... Which Saving is, for later. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, we also had a really interesting thing with the the owner of uh, the Taguro, like, Merc, like, group or whatever, he was talking with, he went to the, the oh. sister. Yeah, yeah. What was that, that was... about? I don't know. Like, because, hmm. Is he going to play an angle, like, around, like, to have just another card? Maybe. Well, and it seemed like, um, 
the way he was, like, staying hidden, it really seems like, yeah, he's just a basic-ass human. Like, he doesn't have any powers or anything. I doubt that. Well, I very much doubt that. Because cause he could have just been like, yeah, and then I punk these dudes, you know, if that's... No, I like, know, but but I think he's I think he's going for more of the manipulation angle, where he's like, sure, I'm... If I show I have powers and stuff, then I'm more dangerous. Gotcha. Then, you know, she's less, you know, inclined to mm -hmm. see him more as a friendly. Right. But yeah, that was just like, oh, yeah. Quick interaction and nope, that's it. You know, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's it's one of those things that makes me really wonder. I feel like it's going to get followed up with something later, though. Yes. But then that means this is a long tournament. Well, of course, it has to be a long tournament. Well, right, yeah. Like, I mean, we, we, that was one fight. Yep, yep, uh-huh. Uh -huh. One fight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a proper tournament arc needs at least four fights. Like, at least. Right. At least. <laughs> yep. And some of them are probably going to be, you know, like. And by four fights, ones. you mean, like, tiers of fights, right? Well, four tiers yeah, is yeah. the accurate thing. But what uh -huh. I mean specifically is not four tiers. Fights. I mean, four fights with our protagonists. Mm -hmm. Like right. Like, yep. Yeah. Like at least, because what I'm assuming is going to happen is that they're going to have at least a couple fights that'll be not with the protagonist that mm -hmm. will go really quickly. Yeah. Where they'll be like, ah, yep. Toguro brothers fight. You know these yeah, ones. Yeah. They show and off they, their abilities and and they beat them in thirty seconds. You know. Right. Right. Exactly. You know, it's it's it's, it's a joke. Paste is left on the on the stage. Yeah. Right. Right. A exactly. Yeah. Okay. Chu lives. Chu lives. Chu lives. He's defeated, but he's alive. <laughs> yes. And ah, uh, apparently they're going to fight again someday. Someday. Somehow. Yes. Whatever that means. Exactly. I don't need it to happen when you this week. You know, mm -hmm. next week, this yep. year, whatever. Yep. They will. They will have their moment. Of At reuniting. some point, Yusuke will go home and he'll be like, oh, the house smells like booze more than usual. Wait a minute. And then, boom, then they just, yeah, go at it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, but, um, but speaking of uh, odd encounters, yeah, um, the guy who is sponsoring the Taguros or is kind of the, the mm -hmm. head kind of mafia guy, but the younger one. Right. Um, Young rich guy. Yeah. He had an encounter with Kubar's, with Kubar's sister. Kubar's sister. Yeah. That yeah. was curious because like, huh? Because, OK, <laughs> um. I love Kuwabara's sister's personality, right? <laughs> right. She she makes for great like commentary and sort of like the 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 anti humor, right? Very much so, yeah. Like very dry and things like that. Very and dry. the and the bit of her getting worried about Keiko and stuff and being like, ah, oh, damn, why did why did you have to open your big mouth, right? Like that was that was really good stuff. Yeah. But now that they've interacted, given the fact that she has all these deadpan responses to everything, mm -hmm. I kind of want her to be like randomly like chilling with some of the bad guys at some point mm -hmm. and they're all like oh yeah we're bad we're awesome or something like or, that or just at the very least maybe there's some flirting going on and it's just a thing of where she's like, like yeah yeah, 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 yeah whatever yeah. and she's so stone cold and like confident right. and also might even have some latent sensing spirit abilities mm -hmm. because they have been building up like some things about she could see the things on the TV back yep. then uh -huh. and she can kind of tell the vibe right. of certain things. Kuobar's I think very she... observation oriented so exactly. you know, his sister kind of makes sense. Have something similar. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I would love to have that be a thing of where she gets that exploration as well and mm -hmm. then gets brought into the main cast maybe yes. in a cool way. Absolutely. But just the fact that that happened means that like Jacob was saying this is going to be a long tournament arc mm -hmm. and not the long way necessarily in that we're going to have, you know, 30 fights or something like that. Sure. But that this was one fight. Right. All this yeah. was one uh -huh. fight. Now, it was our main cast, our main yep. characters, and we were having the first fight of the tournament. So the mm -hmm. first one needs to be probably a little bit slower so we understand the general vibe of all the yep, stuff. Where everyone's powers are at and exactly. things like that. Like, and the structure how, of the tournament. Exactly. Yeah. Like, they, they they chose to do it this way, yep. you know, within the tournament. So yeah, gotcha the next did, time, yeah. well, well, right, but also the characters of doing the one-on-one. -on oh, totally. So next time yeah. they could just as easily decide, 
do it let's, completely Let's just way. do it five on five. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's just go. Or it could randomly be rock, paper, scissors, or you know, yeah. whatever. All right. the rules can be adjusted from here on out. Yep. And also we could see fights between teams that are not on Team Urameshi. Like, yep. they, like it, it could be mm -hmm. just a fight between, you know, characters that we're needing build up to so that when Urameshi's team fights them, we're like, oh, we know who they are. We've had that little bit of introduction as to what their abilities are right. or maybe what kind of fighting style they like to use in the tournament mm -hmm. or some ways in which they're planning to fight Team Urameshi now that they know what their abilities are. Yeah. Yep. Because... We still don't have brackets. We nope. still don't have an we, actual like. We don't even idea know of it, whether this is single elimination. Right. If this is like. I, I'm guessing it's single elimination since most, most of the time of it are, results yeah. in the death of the other team. Right. Um. Like. Like. If. If for some reason. Uh. The Rokuyukai team. Rokuyukai. Rokuyukai. They would not be able to continue unless. Yeah. Unless Chu and Rinku just decided. You know what? We'll fight the whole team. You know. I mean. Yeah. That. That's what they would have to do. Mm -hmm. In some ways, that's part of the the terror of having Genkai be on the team. Mm -hmm. Is that Genkai is probably going to have a moment where she like <sighs> takes mm -hmm. it off, oh, yeah. and then just absolutely annihilates someone. Yep. And it's just this thing of like, oh, 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 shit! Like everyone's gonna be like, is that Genkai? Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Whoa, the legendary master! Yeah. And then it's gonna be like, oh, okay. Then when a big fight comes in where Yurameshi's team is like completely outmatched, Genkai yep. could take a really difficult fight mm -hmm. for them in like a one on one and die. Sure. And yet they would have to continue. Right, because that's that's one of the things that um because of how the mechanics of the tournament are set up, uh huh. You can, you know, you could get to the end theoretically. If this was a much darker show where Yusuke is like the only person left on his sure. team, everyone else is dead, and he, yep. you know, still has to, you know, somehow yep. fight. Right? Mm -hmm. Probably not going to happen, but no. it, it theoretically could within the bounds of what we have established for this tournament. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's something where and within the Toguro like you know ultimatum, mm -hmm. yep. he has to right no matter what exactly. Like so that's that was established in a really cool way for the characters that didn't know about this. With Keiko, mm, mm -hmm. because Keiko still doesn't know what Toguro will do. Right, but just that. But we just have that to do they this. have to do it. There yeah. is no choice involved here, mm -hmm. and the reason why he's fighting so hard against all these opponents is because, well, he's actually thinking about an opponent that's way, way in the future, way stronger. Yeah, yeah, way stronger mm -hmm. as well. That that's another thing. Yeah. I love the fact that it came down to just a punch out brawl. Sure, but the cool twist of no, let's take this stance. Put these knives here. Uh huh. Ooh, just just the yeah. idea of their mm -hmm. heels getting all like yeah, sliced no, up like that. Know. It's like yeah. ah. Ooh. The the bottom of the foot is a sensitive spot. It of the is. Body. It is. Like and I uh, and because okay, there's there's the idea of the um. When the adrenaline's running through you, ah. I could you know it's the it's the whole thing of the soldiers that have to check each other after a firefight because you might not have felt the fact that you got shot right. Sure, but, but yeah. when it's but when it's the slow thing of there's just a blade there, right? I feel like that would make it much much worse. Much right? worse, I, because I think so. Because then yeah. it's it's not something where it's just like quick impact and like oh god what right. was that and then it's over. You know, you sweat a little bit and mm -hmm. it slides and you go, yeah right your weight like, shifts ah. and then suddenly it's you know it's not just like slicing into your foot it's also sort of peeling the skin you know yeah, like yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. not about that fam yeah no, um, no on a on a really cool note though this is an injury though that could carry over into a future fight sure we don't have any like healing in mm -hmm. this story thus far Yusuke might just stomp on the foot and be like all right you know right. good to go or, or we could see a really cool thing of where yusuke is again pushed off to the last fight uh, possible sure because he's bandaged up his foot and he's like bouncing on the balls of his feet now right, right. that could be a really cool just like added yep. thing to be like yeah his heels kind of fucked up now we kind of die hard this where it's like the accumulated damage just builds over the course of the tournament that and would that's be a, really cool that would be that would be sick as <laughs> yeah that would be so freaking yeah awesome. like that would be amazing and it because would add bar took a beating too he did and that would be a great way to add to the sort of um you know, this is the dark tournament after all, ah, right? Ah, sure. It doesn't just have to be the dark tournament because it's a bunch of demons. It could also mm -hmm. be because it's like, no, 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 this this shit gets real. Lots brutal. of people eventually die. Right. Like maybe you do great in the first match, mm -hmm. but the deal is that you were tired out 
because of the first one. Yeah. And then, oh, now they also know your techniques. So then people come in where if you weren't paying oh. attention, they're going to come in with their technique that they're like, oh, OK, I'm intentionally not going to use this technique. Right. So that when I fight the next team, mm -hmm. I'm going to use it in a yep. hard counter right. to that person there. So then they don't know, oh, we'll present this fighter. And then we're like, OK, now you go, you go. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, OK. Yeah. Is this Slay the Spire? <laughs> Is this Slay the Spire? I don't think so. I think in a lot of ways, that's something that the art yeah. with the four Saint Beasts was, mm -hmm. essentially. But but I know what you mean. Of the, I, the it's yeah. not about just winning the fights, but it's about making sure Surviving that you, the tournament. Surviving yeah. the tournament, yeah. Winning, I like that. Winning yeah. without taking too much damage and stuff, yep. because then you can be set up to a point where, sorry, even though you won the previous fight, the mm -hmm. way you won it, means that you are almost guaranteed going to lose this one. Like the fact yeah. that Hiei, for instance, took his arm out of commission, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Right. That that's gonna that's gonna make things come. That is a, that is forward. The, that is one of the big examples I would say of mm -hmm. where they're already set up a little bit badly for future fights. Yeah. Is that Hiei used a ultimate one shot, one kill mm -hmm. move, and yet what they're seeming to do with the Taguro team thus far is okay one new member of the team was introduced here yeah their esteemed colleagues i mean your gang right. i mean yeah sure whatever but, right that whatever but that means there's more mm -hmm. and Two then more. maybe uh, yeah uh, yeah we we don't know how many more though oh that's Remember, true they, all it means is they can only field five that's a good point but they could have backups just in case yeah know? well and and in the case of like um uh, of the young, the, the main Taguro brother, right? The yeah. younger one, well, right? Well, they count as two people or one? Yeah, well, it, it might just be something where it's like, you know what, older brother, I don't think a sword will really be very important here. You sit this one out, you know, like when it when it comes down to it. Sure. Um, and, and if the older brother were to fight like on their own, how would they do that, you know? Because well, like they have, the, they have the hair, vine, you know, I, tentacle, all I that stuff. I think they'll do just fine. Yeah. My, my, my main worry with all of this is that if this is one fight, mm -hmm. then fight number two that like really matters, you know, one where they go like really in depth into it, will be Yusuke and the team probably being forced into a situation where Genkai has to fight. Sure. And then we'll find out why Genkai is, well, just being so secretive. Right. And just you know no. being so like ugh, it's the ugh. it's the chaotic neutral rogue of i i'm sitting in the corner but that's not genkai no though. no it's not no so, no it's not that at all no it's no it's really just <laughs> it's the card right it's the it's the never never show your hand right? right and i think that that's that's a very tagashi style thing but character wise it doesn't necessarily make sense i can see it strategically well, yeah. right 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 but i'm saying it still isn't that's a plot reason but the character reason I feel like is like not not really obvious. Okay. Because huh. that would mean primarily that there's a there's a like oh all of Genkai's moves are pretty well publicly known. Or sure, something. people know about Genkai and stuff because maybe a lot of people would have wanted to, you know, learn them and things like that. Take the abilities and stuff with the yeah. whole thing in that training uh, bit. Right. Yeah. So, so so maybe it's the don't want anyone to know, you know. Right, but then once Genkai uses the spirit wave then well, suddenly or just even reveals themselves sure. theoretically. Yeah, yeah. Then it's like, oh, well, the jig is up. So right, why do it? Probably, is probably it really for that, that first spirit. Right, I know, but it's like, is it really that important to have it just for the one fight? Every bit helps, you know. Like, but the then fact why that... wouldn't you tell the? Why wouldn't you tell the boys and be like, hey, 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 don't uh, ask me to fight. Right. That's yeah. you know, you guys fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait until you desperately need See, me, and then I'm an auto win on the, a specific fight. The non-meta reason is that she doesn't trust them to be able to keep a secret. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, okay. The, no, if I if I tell them, they'll. But, 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 but I mean, no. as long as it's not Kuwabara, <laughs> right? Because everyone Kuhabara else would can be keep like, a secret. Kuwabara would think be. Kurama and Hiei are going to be like, <laughs> yeah, wow. I can't believe Genkai came all this way. What Genkai? Where? Hiding behind maybe that short man over there. No, see, there, the thing is, is that Kuwabara would be like, he would brag to like the other team of like, I'm not going to say who it is. <sighs> but he, he has we've low got wisdom, not low intelligence. Come on. I'd say that's on. a low wisdom thing to do. 
<laughs> but, but, but then you also have things like Kurama not using his thorn whip, right? That is smart. Like, like yeah. that's the kind of thing where it's like, yeah, you know, keep keep that, you know, ace keep in the hole, right? Keep those things close to the chest. Right, yeah. make it so that your enemies are always guessing. They never know what sure. to expect. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Even, even he kind of did that to some degree since he used his ultimate ability. He does, they, nobody he knows what his basic ability is. Yeah, he didn't are. really fight fight regular, so... Yeah, yeah, he just used basic martial arts and stuff. Yep. Okay, okay, then then I'm 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 with you. Mm-hmm. Then for the fight with Chu, having this be something where Chu can come back and we can have Yusuke be at least the one that everyone looks towards the team of like, wow, he's made of tougher stuff. Yeah. Because it really doesn't make sense physically that he beat Chu. No. And no, that's not at something all. not right, at all. Right. But that's something that um Rinku brought up hmm. in a way of like he made his head crack the stone. Right. Like, so so Yusuke's like, head is also Yusuke, ridiculously thick. R- right, right. But but Yusuke is strong. Like, yeah, like strong with a K. Right. And the <laughs> Exactly. And the training that he did with Genkai. Mm-hmm. was something to enhance his physical body. Right. In addition to all the other stuff. But yep. like... <laughs> Yusuke. Damn. Like, uh-huh. Yep. Damn. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, the damn. I think the thing that interests me the most about this tournament, other than just the fact that each fight can be different because there isn't like a set rule system and whatnot, sure. is actually the fact that we don't know any of the other people in the tournament. Yeah, that's weird. Because most, like, most tournament arcs have a good amount of like setup episodes right. just to show who will be fighting. Like this was like we'll we'll set up the team and even then we don't set up the full team before like right before you fight them rather than like seeing oh. a bunch of the other teams like just sort of milling about or something like that cuz you'd think a lot of them would stand out given the fact that there's a bunch of demons here and while a lot of these people mm-hmm. are demons. Right. Most of them have taken the human form, you know? Well, mm. The ones in the stands. Are the no, not the ones in the stands, but the but the ones that we fought so far. Yeah, but you know, that's so it's still that could be like the only team that's like that for all we know. Uh, sure, it totally could be, and yeah. and even if the other teams are like that, it's a big place. It's not like you would necessarily be like you right. know, walking past them in a crowd or something. Yeah, but but I think I just realized why they haven't built up any of the teams yet. Oh yeah, it's because this is the thrill of the tournament arc. We are following Yusuke and humans coming in through their little special invitation uh, and all that. They are the outsiders. They are the outsiders. They have no idea. Sure. Yeah. So the fights that happen after this one that are like, you know, mm-hmm. their own. That's like, where they'll get a feel for what That's where they'll get a feel like. of it as now they're like, okay, mm-hmm. we've been thrown into this whole thing. Let's have someone be in the stands at all times. Right. That can be our yeah. like Keiko, observer. you want to help? watch closely there there will be times where we'll be like nursing wounds and unconscious you know or things like that after oh, fights or something oh sure you but know. i would assume that they're not always going to be together sure that that's that's the other thing is that just because this is a crazy big tournament and stuff you could have a member of a team just sitting in the stands you know you could have kurama yeah. just sitting there in the stands and someone comes up to him like Hey, and he's just like, don't try it. And they're yeah, just yeah. like, oh, okay. Have you seen the things that I did down there? Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. I, I don't think that we're that worried about the the demons in the stands like actually doing no. something. Unless, uh, unless it's someone like Keiko or Kuwabara's but sister. Were, no, but they were literally sitting in the stands amongst demons the whole time. That's true. And they did nothing. Yeah. So I don't I don't buy that. No, I, I think if anything, it's more of like, w- will they show the fights enough mm. to where that's something that our our boys will actually gain some useful info? Right. And then we, by the audience extension, will learn some things as well. Yeah. And I feel like this is with whatever they do next. That's where we'll really feel get a feel for what kind of style the tournament's going to do, because. Yes, it makes it makes plenty of sense to go into a lot of detail on the protagonist fights, right? Right. Of course. Yeah. What about these side fights, right? Because you know it's like if yeah. we're we, pro- we don't know yet. We don't know. The next episode will really tell us. Yeah. Exactly. I get the feeling it's not going to be this much detail, but it it doesn't have to be like a quick montage or something. Like we well, could actually really I, get into it. Right. I will just say mathematically, it's impossible that they do this much detail because of the fact that there's only like a hundred plus episodes. 
It's like just yeah. over 100 episodes in the show proper. Right. So you can't have unless 75 it was like a th- episodes for the tournament arc. You right. Know? Unless it was like a th- only a three-tiered tournament or something like that. You know, like. Well, that's the thing. I don't think it's going to be. I think, if anything, this is like the dark tournament. Right, right. So exactly. If it's... anything, we have to have like, like we have to have like four episodes like four, four, four fights specifically for, for protagonist our protagonist minimum. Yeah, minimum. I, I would not be surprised if it was something where it's just like, okay, so we're resting. Oh right. yeah, there's stuff happening down there. Right. You know, you know yeah. just people killing each other, and that's just like the background noise. Sure, you know. But I could see them having a fight that is like a five on five, mm-hmm. and it's over in two episodes. So, like, this one was the slowest one, maybe. Right, because it's one-on-one, yeah. Right, because it's one-on-one. But you could have other ones where it's like, ah, you need to field three people from your team. Mm -hmm. And maybe the other team brings that in as a parameter because maybe they lost a couple of their members in previous fights. And they're like, nope, we only want three people from your team to bring up there. And they're like, hmm. Okay, then our condition is that the fight be handled in this manner with only these things there. And they're like, hmm. Fine, then yeah. we ask that this only thing here. And, if I were, they, to, they could they could make fights be really efficient. Yes, in that regard. Yeah, if I if I were to think about like what I what I would most love to see from this tournament, oh, sure. it would be just a bunch of really janky, weird like weird setups for fights, okay. and and to see the negotiation of what kind of like rules they want to have for the fights. Sure. Because, like, if, you know, if it's like, oh, we only have three people, it's like, oh, that's, that's too bad. It's too bad. Sorry. Yeah. Let's have to face all five of us, you know. Yeah, they probably have a rule, though, where it's like, once you get below a certain number of people on a team, you're, you're automatically disqualified. Yeah. So I'm guessing three is actually the number where they're like, no, 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 this is the minimum number of people you need to field. But at the same time. Because, you know, three out of five, you know. You know? Maybe the crowd just wants blood, you know. Oh, sure. Well, give it your best shot. You know, tell you what. We'll yeah. do we'll do one on ones just to make it easier for you, but you better have stamina. You know. Oh, so if there's like one person, right? You need to fight five times and uh-huh. win three of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't know, but uh. I would love to have that where we have maybe two people on Team Urameshi that are not unconscious. Sure. Where it's not that anyone's dead, right? But it's that oh, we need Yusuke to be in hardcore and recovery Uabara, mode. Mm-hmm. And they they make the agreement that they're like, all right, every fight you have to field two people at a time, and it's like Yusuke, you know, Kuwabara two v two in like three fights in a row, and they just win over and over and over again. That'd be that'd, that'd be, be ridiculous. So freaking awesome. But anyway, yeah. y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.